Dave Snyder here. It's the 23rd day afternoon of August 2014. And, you know, as long as there's weather over the earth, I will never run out of things to, to show you. I will never run out of things because every day it's just another. You, you know, the thing is, it's like I'm not trying to say that the moon is shaping the weather. What I'm trying to say, basically, is the moon has already shaped the weather everywhere. All the weather, every inch of the weather, <laughs> it may not have the, the, uh, very much to do with the way it's shaped, it, you know, the way it's formed today. I'm sure that has a lot to do with the sun and the temperatures of the earth and what whatnot. But I mean, it, the moon has already shaped every bit of the weather a long time ago, and, and it probably still is today. But I'm just saying it, it has absolutely shaped all of this, all these patterns that you see. If I reverse the moon over this, all these areas that, that you're seeing on the earth. There's an area on the moon. There's an area on the moon for all these patterns. Every every one. This area, this area, this area, that area, this area up here in Asia, over here in the Pacific, everywhere, all of it, all of this. Now this one I haven't seen like this for a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This is a pretty easy one, so I'll save that and let me get a little closer to it here. There it is. That's how I want it. Like, like that right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Try not to make the video too long. There we go. Alright, so we want a little bit of the coast in there because i got to have some kind of... Uh, well, I'm not going to put it actually where it is on the earth. I'm going to go ahead and put it where I have this crater already overlaid in reverse over the earth. And we'll go from there. So there's that, and I'm just going to save that as Gulf of Alaska. Okay. Okay, let's shut this window. Oh, I did save it, didn't I? Uh, I must have, I did save it, I think. So let me see, I'm going to go back to Google Earth here, shut this off, and I want to make sure that came up, so let's check that before I go any further. Gulf of Alaska. There it is. Okay, so that's there. I'll bring that up, might as well over here. Okay, so I'm going to bring that down here. It's going to be over here, actually, where I'm going to put it. I could put it over South America, actually. You want to see that first? Maybe we'll try that first, just for fun. Just for fun, because you're going to see something interesting when I do that. You're going to see that, wow, maybe the Earth is a little less complicated than it really seems. <laughs> you see that right there? Look at that, people. Watch. How could that be? Look at this. Look at this. Look at that black part right here. Look at the angle. Whoa. Shit. And you see right here this part where it kicks out a little bit. Where they got that scene. They got that line right there right in your way. Where the satellite changes or something. There's something right in that spot. This, there's. It's not coincidence. Absolutely not coincidence. So there, look at how that fits South America. I mean, it's not, I just, it's not to size yet or anything. It's just, it's, look at that. Oh, my goodness. So that's what I do. See that? You're going to tell me that doesn't go with that some way or another? One way or another, that goes there. Was, you know, like South America must have been here at one time. And if you bring South America up here, you'll see South America will fit along this, uh, this area of, the coast of North America very well in different ways. You can get it to align up there pretty well. Just like that, if you take it up there and match it to the weather pattern, South America, take it up here, turn on the weather, match it right, right there. I'm going to go ahead and leave this picture here and then bring up another one for what I was going to actually do. So that, because that's that's pretty nice. We'll just leave that there and uh, turn it off and go do the next one over here where I want to bring up the actual moon surface first. 
bring that up first. And that's a little ways up here. Right up here. Uh, did I pass it? Yeah. Okay, so this is the image I like to use when I'm doing that. This is a reversed image of the lunar surface. Imbrium, Copernicus, right? Kepler. And I know it's like a weird angle, but let's just go with that picture again. And that was called what be, Gulf of Alaska, right? Oop, not that far down. People keep, you know, wa pe some people that lately have watched my videos and they, they think that they try to try to line us up, you know, with a couple different images of of the uh, of South America and, and you know a few other things that they tried. But I mean, it's it's absolutely from this crater on the moon, people. It absolutely is. Now I'm just going to go ahead and leave it somewhere right in there because you can see. This isn't a really good, very visible one right right now, but it'll it'll probably change into one. Maybe I got, I got it too long still, too too wide. So you got to see Copernicus got to be right in here. It's right here or right here, showing Copernicus somewhere in there. That's a little more like that. Let's see. Now check it out. You see this yellow area right here? You see how this see how this is shaped right here? Just pay attention to that er, that area. And then look at the moon right there. Why could and you think that's coincidence? Come on, you see what I'm doing here. I knew where I was putting it, and that weather I have never worked with that this pattern until just now. So I mean for that to fit right in there like that, how could that be coincidence? You tell me. So right up here, right up here on the Earth, in Alaska, right up here in Alaska, there's a big mountain or something that creates this crater or something right there. You know what I mean? It's there. Because this is, I don't know, you know what, there's, a, I could also put Mare Oriental up there too, you know what I mean? I, there's, because the, the pattern's all, it's like the same area, all these areas of the moon were hitting the same places, like I've said a hundred times. But there you go, that's that's not coincidence right there, that that yellow area is like that. You see Copernicus is right there, look at that, boom, Copernicus, right there. And unfortunately we're not getting any weather there to see Kepler, but it's usually up there too. That's because it's from water maps probably. And I've showed bunches of overlays over this crater before, so you can go back and check some of my older videos that show that. But that South America one is pretty, pretty uh, revealing, don't you think? I think so. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it cuts right off. You see, we can go through this even more and find more. I'm sure. Like this curve. We see the curve right there. Yeah, that's there. The entire Amazon, all of it. Not coincidence, people. Look at that. South America, right there in the weather in the North Pacific. Absolute fact. Look at. I take. I got a really nice image of Copernicus, right up here, right here. Really nice image of Copernicus, right there. Oh man, look at that. And if you go through this image, it is just out of out of this world. I mean it is absolutely out of this world. The way that, see that this is what I mean by them trying to hide things you know, since they've been changing Google Earth. Like they used to have these pixels in here that used to hide it. They, pixel, they used to pixelate everything. They found a way to, to take out like the land features from it. You have to get in close to see like the circle. See that circle? Okay, see that circle? It's the same size, right? 
and then if you go through the whole picture, you, you'll see these areas, but you only get to see it like just this area. It? But if you back it off, you can't see the whole thing unless you got a big screen or whatever. But it's there. It's all there. This is a real good image of, of uh, Copernicus, actually. You see this area here. Copernicus, Copernicus itself. And this is a reversed image of Copernicus. And you can put the same picture down or any picture of Copernicus right there in right here in South America and you see like this where these where these rays come out you can see that right there where, where it does that to the land there you can see oh yeah it's there all right down here to this this bay this little area here where that bright spot is looking right there it goes right there And it's interesting that you a lot of times when you when you get these uh, when you align these properties like I have this over North America too, where where it was obviously involved in the same. It's both the same impact, I do believe. I don't think they're two separate ones, but it could be. But when you when you align it over the like we know where all the big cities in in North America are, right? You know, you got like Atlanta and Dallas. Well, this is like Dallas. Boom, right in the center. And it's hard to see it because I'm telling you, look at that. It's right there. And there's Dallas right dead center of that. But then you go like to Atlanta. Here, turn the borders on. You see like there's Atlanta right there. Put that with Atlanta. And then you go look at Atlanta. Let's just fade this out. You go look at Atlanta. And it's just like a big circle. And, and not, it's hard to see sometimes, but it's there. Some of them, sh I mean, you'll get, some, look at that. You see, like, this little notch that's out in the front, out of the front of it right there? And you see, like, this little, same shape right there. This this is the same thing. And then you go to the next one, the next bright spot. Because, look at that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? You see that? Wow. That's incredible. And I don't that's not, that, this city doesn't even have, it doesn't even really name anything right there. It's just the county, Burke County or whatever, Waynesboro. You know, but it doesn't really show a city for that spot. Unless maybe if you zoom in more or something, I don't know. But anyways, I thought that was a... It's, you, the bright spots always seem to fall into cities. Important, big cities. Like I said, Atlanta, Dallas, and you, you know, you get some other ones up here, I'm sure. I'm going to turn the borders back on to do that, though. Tennessee, what's this area here? There's Nashville. I don't know what... Jackson. I mean, that's Dallas is like wow. That's you never would have. Or is it Dallas? Yeah, Dallas. And then you know what confirmed this one for me? Actually, is it, let me show you here. Okay, so I got. I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at it. And I'm, and, and you can be just a little bit off, and throw the whole thing off, right? So you got to make sure you check them all over again. But this spot right here, see this this point right here it comes to this point. Right there. Okay, well, look, take a look. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's there. Now, do I think these are this, these impacts bring gold? Of course they do. They bring everything. They do everything. These impacts are, are real, real thing. Everyone's in real denial over it all, too, to be honest. That crater probably goes right over that little that, that uh, salt dome that's in the ocean right there, or whatever they call it. And it, see this one right here? That goes, I'm sure, down here, right here, where the crater that it's, it's the right size and everything. It's just a little bit off. It should be should be right there. But if I try to get that on there, you know, it's going to throw everything else off. So it, some of the land has probably moved, actually moved, and since it is two curved, two round objects. It's really difficult to get it all to align all the time, but I know the Kepler's over here on the east coast, off off the east coast. You can check that yourself. The weather is showing all the time. And let me see. The weather was showing us the other day. I actually made a couple of videos and I did not upload, and I will upload those, I guess. Um, let's see weather. Give us something good. Come on. Give it to us. I wanted to show you how I had that aligned the other day. There's an edge up here that I lined up here that 
I, I actually had it started out down here, and I just kept moving it with the weather at first, and then I, I got it pretty well aligned, I think. So anyways, that's it. Pretty cool stuff. Have a great day.